All right, we are back. Another vlog in the making. And I'm gonna start by saying that this episode is sponsored by Ritual. These are Symbiotic Plus. This is one of my go-tos. I use this all the time, every day. It's a pre, pro, and postbiotic. I've talked about it before. You've heard about it here before. If you've been following and watching, one capsule a day passes by everything. You do pre, pro, and gets right down to the colon where this stuff matters. So check it out, take this. As always, leaving you a code down here to participate in the wellness health journey. Health is wealth. Anyway, let's get into this episode. Um, our house is coming along, but there's some key updates. I can't show you a ton of things because we gotta keep it pretty tight lid on it based on uh, trying to do some press around here. So through the background, you can get more of an idea of what's happening, but I'm gonna show you some pretty cool key features I'm really excited about that are separating us from other homes we've done and will hopefully just keep us elevated in a whole new dimension because design ideas are one thing, but specialty products are another. And although a lot of them I partnered with to get, they are pretty cool. Anyway, check it out. First and foremost, this is pit cooking. It says pit right there. These are our burners. These are super cool. They are right in the stone. Now everyone's gonna say, but you're gonna ruin your stone. Of course, we're gonna seal this. They make a bulletproof sealer, 50 year warranty from etching from knives, from hot pots. You can set it right on there. Obviously you don't, but you could. 50 years warranty, not one etch not one knife mark, so everyone who's got something to say, some sort of comment, leave it in the comments if you want, just more engagement for me, but keep it to yourself, or check out Bulletproof, do the math. Not cheap, but 50 years worth, kind of extends your lifetime. Next, one of my new favorite items is the Balmuda. This is a little toaster. This thing is super cool, super Japanese inspired, but it's a steam toaster, so you pour, a little cup, five cc's of water right in here and moist on the inside, toasted on the outside. That isn't crazy. Tell me what is. You know I got my DeLonghi Specialista, the air fryer, currently cleaning itself with water and soap. But DeLonghi, this is my girl right here. We got all our cups, glassware, a lot of DeLonghi. And if you know and you've been following, Better have a set of these Paula Studios cups. Mine are in the dishwasher. These ones are just here for gifting. If I go over to someone's house, gotta bring them. Then another feature I love right now is our Gen Air oven. Check this thing out. It's a microwave. You can do all sorts of things. Popcorn. You can reheat. You can choose, you want to do casserole, dinner plate. Then the lower oven, super cool features. You've got the convection bake. You can choose, you want to roast. Um, you can even bake. These things are just getting smarter by the day, but then it's got a full culinary center. So you can choose meatloaf, roast, baked goods, um, bread, biscuits whatever you want, and it's got a smart sensing mode so to also feel out the food in there and make sure you won't overcook it, or that's the hope. Another one of my favorite features is this. Under the counter, it's called Zip Water. This is a hydro tap. It has a tank back there of CO2, and then we get still filtered, sparkling. That's actually sparkling water coming out of the tap. Or this, for the safety, hit it three times. One, two, three. And that's 220 degree boiling water instantly out of the tap. You're gonna see the steam in a second. I don't know if you can see that. But making oatmeal, tea, boiling water, everything. That is, mmm. Someone made snacks for Preston. You're good. But that is really cool. Zip water has been a game changer. I've been filling up my glass water bottle by Only Water, it's a friend's company by the way, every day. I haven't purchased a bottle of water since we moved in here a couple weeks ago. 
Although it's not done, my kitchen's coming along. But lots to do, as you can see, we're missing a full corner cabinet here. It still has to be custom built. By the way, all these kitchens are by form. They come with all these cool inserts. Actually a really cool insert from form was this vegetable drawer, which we love. Keeps things fresh. But let's get out of the kitchen into some of the other little details right now that I can show you. As you can see, this is still a work in progress. Shelves are being painted. We got our dining table here that's gonna go up. That is black marble. And today we are putting in mounts for a chandelier, which is going to be pretty cool. That chandelier is gonna hang off these two metal points down over our dining table right here. So we have to measure how far the center of each, where it's gonna go. Got my Gen Air wine fridge. So I've been loading up. Got some good bottles going. Let's see, uh, maybe you guys might know that one. Woo! That's nine Sasakaya. Never owned a wine fridge before, pretty excited about that. This table. I had the original owner of this place leave and I refinished it. So that's gonna be our games table. I'm really excited about that, but as you see, I don't have chairs. We did concrete collaborative here, it's covered up, but that will be our terrazzo dining area. And this is all our Denison wide plank flooring. And this is Preston's garage. You know, this kid's done it. Customized his own cars. Lightning bolts. And if you know, Gotta have that vintage Seagram's paraphernalia scattered all through this house. And oh, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is pretty much my favorite part. It's still coming together. Beyond that, when we go upstairs, we're still working on our glass to go in here, which hopefully we'll get soon. And that'll be our little primary suite. Oh, are you guys filming? Someone else is filming in here. Let's see what's happening. What are you filming, babe? <laughs> I thought you weren't allowed to be filming. Why am I not allowed to be filming? What are you filming? <laughs> I, thought, we said I thought you're not allowed to be filming. Mine's close up. So is mine. Look, close. <laughs> Simone, Hannah, close. No details, just white walls. TikTok. What are you TikToking in here? I don't know the rules anymore. You made the rules. I didn't make the rules. I'm trying to follow the rules. Get our shoes. Yeah. Are these your wide leg ones? Like the ones on the bottom that are wide too? Yeah. Or is there another pair that you have that's also like really wide? That you've worn before? Way back? I don't remember. I used to have another pair of Uniqlo ones, but they're in the Hamptons that have a draw, like this kind of waist. Do you try these on? No. You these are wide are at the cool? bottom, but they have a little elastic at the bottom. But those are wide too. Those are really wide. Try those. Okay, should I also try those? What are you trying to do? Trying to wear your pants as a look? No, I mean for the bottom. Yeah, like what's what shoe, like what's the, com what are you trying to accomplish with the wide bottom? <laughs> I don't know, babe. It's because okay. your stylist is filming something else. Yeah. Not gonna show you the bathroom right now because you know, I gotta keep some things a secret from all you people and I'll just shut the door here and show you that this is a seamless door. And this wall has a crazy covering coming. And if you know one of my favorite brands, they are doing the cashmere, full cashmere wall. Can't wait for that, but you should probably be able to figure that one out. You know, we got little details to finish. This still needs to be rounded to match this. This is gonna be rounded here to fill in so it looks proper. This needs to be all sanded so it looks normal. Um, but really cool details. Just the detail lines. Fireplace, the whole other thing. I'm not gonna tell you about that yet. Downstairs, still missing a rail in here. You know, coming together. Give you a little previews of how the room floor. Ooh. 
That room is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna leave that as a surprise. This is our current guest room, also paint room. But you knew the barrel vaulted was there before, but that's got a lot of work. But the bathroom is done in there. Closet is done. This is gonna be den and conservatory. Obviously trying to keep the dust out because we're now living here. So it's important that we try and put everything in one area. Then little Preston is sleeping in here right now, so I can't really show you, but he's loving his bedroom. We got our laundry here. We're doing a wall here. Fog glass, so it'll be its own laundry room. And Preston's room, bathroom. We're gonna paint the vanity. Try to decide what colors. As you can see the drains aren't in yet, but this is all cooler, even the vanity. And, you know, how do I look? Oh, the Roburn mirrors aren't in yet, but they're coming. There has been a ton of progress every day. We are knocking things out and I'm super excited for it. I'm super excited to be in it and a part of it. And yeah, but even like we need to cap here, cap the floor and we need to sand this to round it to bonos to match these. So there's a lot of tiny details left. Also, this mirror got cut off at the top because it used to be in our front entrance. This is original from the original owner. But then when you look down, it also was chopped here. So it's not even in its original format. So the question is, do we cut it even more and keep it and put it somewhere? Where could it go? We don't know, but we got to figure it out. Anyway, those are the home updates. We're trekking along in here. How sick is this? One of my favorite parts. Art lights. Original BTC. This is a manufacturer. They're super cool. They dim. They're on either side of our fireplace. Oh, moody. Hey, we like the art lights, people. No one is paying attention. That's fine. I'm into art lights. You like the art lights? Do you like the art lights, man? Yeah. Whose train set is that? Yours? It's yours now. It was Papa's when he was a boy. Okay. But it looks pretty cool. Classic New York. Must exist in each apartment, or not in each apartment, anytime there's water. Gotta be painted orange. And I can tell you about our unpolished brass handles. This is the old door. So that's my quick apartment update. Again, thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this vlog. Thank you to Ritual for keeping me healthy. Thank you to me for choosing to be healthy, to order Ritual and take Ritual and have manifested that relationship to be better about myself so I can be top of my game to do things like this renovation or be present in my family and just be healthy and live longer to see Preston go to high school, college, get married, have a child. Who knows? All right guys, hit that subscribe button.